The Bears have dominated them thus far and continue to do so here in this second. Smith won a big draw on their own end. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Shot right in front. Big save. Copley's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Feeds the puck over to Pilo. Hershey's got it in the offensive zone. The Bears played along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Carr. Dismissed that chance. Slides the puck over. To his teammate. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Gibson's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. The Bears have looked good offensively tonight, generating all opportunities. Syracuse takes possession off the faceoff. Gets a stick on it. Here's a chance. Big save by the goaltender once again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Copley's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Bears came out with jump, and they have been non-stop right from the start, leading 4-0. And a busted twig on the shot. Maintains possession. From in close. Fantastic save. Moves with the puck at the corner. Puts it to the front of the net. Can't finish. Oh, rain. Blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Turn that one aside. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. The crunch have taken to the offensive attack. Unable to reach that one. Takes the puck at the point. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Sends a pass over. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Nice pass. The Crunch have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Finds some space in the corner. Snaps one from the slot. That opportunity is rejected. We're gonna back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. The Bears lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Hershey's won the draw and they'll go to work. Denies him with a save. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. From the boards, he takes that pass. Makes the easy save with the glove. Out front, and that one's broken up. Syracuse steps inside, settles things down, and gets control of it once again. Quick pass to foot, takes that one right in the logo. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Bears lead it 4-0. They have dominated. Joseph's won the draw. Wrist went in front, turns it away. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Move to the middle. Syracuse has the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Jabs the puck away. Syracuse has it in their own zone. On the attack along the boards. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Here's a chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Gains the zone. 
And he slides it quickly to Carr. Oh, Smart has a play to put that one away. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Gibson. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. It's a three-on-one. Snaps it onto the net. Big time save with the blocker. Cutting to the slot. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie walk here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Sends it over to Carr. Quick feed to Sprong. Hershey's on the attack. Here's the pass. Paddled away by Gibson. And he elects to play the puck. Gains the zone through the middle. Sends the pass over. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Witkowski's on the ice here at the offensive zone faceoff, and he should be. He's their captain, but he's also their best player. If they're coming back in this game, James, he's going to be a part of it. A chance on the redirect. Scores on the one-timer. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. The Crunch have got back to center ice here in the second. They need much more of that. Yeah, they've been at center ice a lot, James, but the other guys have been scoring. <laughs> yes. Hershey's won the draw. Puck grabbed by Johansson. And he can't hang on after that hit. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Syracuse will play it behind their own net. Colton's got it in the defensive end. Handles the puck. Syracuse gains the zone. Slides it across. Big time stop. Takes the feed. Quick shot blocked in front. Syracuse has it near the wall. Feeds the puck to Winkowski. Gains the zone from the right side. Scoops up the puck now. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Syracuse gains a hold of possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Bears play it along the boards. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Takes control of the puck. Takes the cross-ice pass. Puck battle along the boards. Here's a chance to set up now. Receives the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Here they are on the attack. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Crunch have gained control of the puck along the wall. Pucks it away here in the neutral zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Takes the pass. Couldn't make that one happen. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's an offensive chance. The Crunch have possession along the boards and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that goes off a player in front. Made the stop on the play. Syracuse takes it across the line. And he regains control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Hershey's got control of the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. Syracuse tries to break out from their own end. In the second period. Less than a minute to go here in the second. And the puck leaves the zone. 
Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Picked up along the boards by Sprong. Stopped by the goaltender. Ties them up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way. A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get down. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. They take possession as it... He scores! Well, what a great way to go into the end of a period. You score, you put a mark up on the board, and you know that you've really put a dent in the other team's confidence. With just seconds to spare. Oftentimes, the goalie will drop in the butterfly, take the chance that he's got everything covered. Not so here. This is up over the glove. It's a beautiful shot. The Bears are starting to make people lose track of just how wide this lead is now. Busiest guy in the rink is the guy changing the numbers on the clock. Man, they are awesome tonight. Puck picked up in the open ice. By number 38. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. The third period is just moments away. And both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Syracuse will have to rethink the way that they've gone about this game so far. They've done nothing but chase the puck for two periods, and they're losing because of it. Strong defensive effort. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves the puck. Here's a chance. Snapper from the slot. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Foot's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to get a break? He's created chances. He's been in the right spot, but all he can do is hit the post. Syracuse plays it along the wing. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Scrum along the boards. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Carries the puck up through center. Moves it over to foot. Now a quick pass to Smith. Syracuse is in the offensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Syracuse gets the puck near the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's an odd man rush. Moves it to Pilo. Wrists one. He scores! And that's two in a row! You get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes, and while the defending teams back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck.
Hershey's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And he denied that opportunity. Copley's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Oh, great use of the body on the play. Syracuse plays it against the boards. Stays with it. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Manages to hang on. Hangs on to the puck. The Bears play it along the wing. On the doorstep. Nice feed from the boards. And he gets in the lane to block that. Pinned up along the boards. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From the right side, takes the pass. They've got numbers. Takes the feed. Puck dumped in. Syracuse has possession of it now. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Up along the wing. And that's broken up. Not able to connect. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Here's a short pass to Thomas. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Syracuse sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. They've worked on the power play a lot at practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Maintains possession. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end and manages to clear the zone. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. Rocks him. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot. Doesn't execute it. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. They move the puck out of harm's way. Looking to break out here on the power play. Tries to feed it over to Smith. Nice pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. And that's picked off in front. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Takes possession off the draw. Slides the puck over. Here they are on the attack. Stones him in front. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, and just gets a piece of it. Battling for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Pilon. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. They've got the defense outnumbered. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Pilo's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a blast. Too much congestion in front. Sends a pass over. Syracuse is on the attack. Sends the pass over. Denies him in front. Copley's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. I love these second looks at this. 
you see the player transfer his weight, hammer this slapper, but the goalie makes a save. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck scooped up by Witkowski. And he's able to handle that one. Copley's got it. And he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there. And like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Syracuse has been the better team. They've had more scoring opportunities. And yet they trail in the third. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Locks them down in front of the net. Molson's moving the puck through his own zone. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Bears take it across the blue line. One-timer! Oh, the puck doesn't get there. It's so crowded in front of the goaltender. The Bears go to work on offense. Answered the call there. Moves it quickly over to Winkowski. Here's a chance. Sends it over. Right in front. Gets a stick on it to make the save. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. And now it's grabbed by Thomas. Nice poke check. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Shot. Denies him. Taken by Johansson. The Bears take it along the wall. From the slot. And that one's blocked. Just slide to the net. Handles the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Stick save from the goaltender. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Here's a shot. Misses over the net. Syracuse has worked really hard to generate more scoring chances than their opponents. They've been in the offensive zone a lot. They just can't score. Grabs the puck at center. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scarbosa's got it in the defensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Great pass from the left wing. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. From against the wall into the open ice. The Crunch have gained control of the puck in their own zone. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. The Bears are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, but when they jumped over the boards to come out for the draw, they were huddled together having a little... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Hershey's looking to break out. Battle along the boards. And that'll essentially do it for the man advantage here as the official blows the play dead. The Crunch have been penalized for slashing. Rarely is a slashing penalty considered a good penalty to take. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Each team playing with four men, and that means that you're going to have a defenseman jumping into the play. If they don't get a good chance, you know the other team will. Denies him on the play. Tries to get it out of harm's way. Looks to make a play over to Smith. Across the line from center. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Under a minute to go in the third. Hershey's on the attack. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. There's the whistle stopping the play with an offside. This is when you want run time. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Syracuse is running out of time late in this third period as they continue to trail. Hershey's won it. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but scores! That's three unanswered now. Oh, there seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net. 
but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Bears are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. Scored by number 18, Garrett Pilon. Pilon's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Bears have it now. Along the wing up the neutral zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And that shot dies in traffic. Takes the feed. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. And he comes up with it. Hershey's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Oh, you can see the shooter. He looks straight up to the sky. He thought that was past the goalie. But the tender made enough of a save to keep the puck out of the net. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. one nothing. It's not do or die, but how important is that win? Well, you feel better about yourself. You feel like you've got the leg up, which you do. And now you put so much pressure on your opponents for game two. My name is James Sobalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.